Welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to compare the Sony FX6 against a proper cinema camera. I released the video yesterday in case you didn't watch it. I'll be sure to put a card up above so you guys can check that out. But effectively, there was a comment that basically said, hey, I'm comparing a cinema camera to a DSLR. And they're right. So I thought, you know what? Why not? Let's compare it against a proper cinema camera. And today we're going to do that. And the camera that I'm choosing to compare it against is the Red Gemini, which there is no disputing. The Red Gemini absolutely is a cinema camera. Before we get started, I think it's very important that we all know and very clearly understand and that you guys know from me that I'm not saying one camera is better than the other. I'm also not saying that if you have X camera, it makes you a lesser filmmaker because you don't have this other camera. I think all cameras, we're all lucky to live in 2021 where there are so many choices at so many price points that you really can't go wrong. If you can't get the image that you want out of any of the cameras that are out on the market today, it is likely not the gear that is holding you back. So I just think that that's a very important point that we all need to sort of agree on. And then the rest of it, just understand that, hey, one, it's my commentary and opinion, and two, it's kind of what it is that I'm seeing at my skill level for the types of projects that I shoot. I'm not trying to create bad feelings in any way for anyone. Again, gear at this point is so neck to neck that we're just lucky to have that opportunity. And focusing on whether one camera is better than another camera really should be whether one camera is the right use case for a specific scenario versus another. Because how we craft our stories matters more. So let's jump into this and let's take a look at the FX6, how it was captured in camera. And I'm going to make sure that you all can see the scopes right underneath the clip so that you can see how I exposed because that often makes a huge difference. Just like with cameras now being super sensitive, missing the white balance by a couple of hundred degrees Kelvin makes a significant difference to the overall image and how it turns out. So let's take a look at the FX6. It's the shape of your lips when you're singing to the radio And the swing in your hips like I never want to let it go No, it's your legs on the dash lean back That make me lose my self-control It's the look in your eyes when we're taking the long way home I keep seeing these curves Driving on so now you have an understanding of how it is that I exposed for that scene, right? Now let's take a look at how I exposed for that scene on the Gemini. Now keep in mind, the FX6 is a full frame camera. The Gemini is a Super 35 camera, slightly bigger, you know, for a Super 35 as in wider, but it's also shorter. So the framing is not going to be exact. This is not a lab test, and it is also not a scientific test. It's more of a scenario that I might find myself in when I'm using some of these cameras, which is how I generally create sort of my base looks, as well as an understanding of what or how to better work with that piece of equipment when I'm on set. That's the purpose of this. Again, just trying to keep everybody happy and not create any kind of animosity because of which camera you happen to own. So let's take a look at the Gemini. Now that it's over, I think I get it. That you were my drug, I was addicted. You'd raise a red flag and I'd forget it. Yeah, I'd forget it. Now that I'm sober, I don't regret it. Did it the hard way. Okay, so we've now established the starting point for both cameras, the FX6 and the RED Gemini. So what you all need to know is that when I'm working with RED or capturing in RED Code RAW, I'm using the IPP2 workflow. 
So I'm capturing in red, white gamut RGB and log 3G10, and then I convert that to uh, Rec 709, Rec 2020, or DCI-P3, depending on what my deliverable is. So for this YouTube video, we're going to Rec 709. So let's take a look at what the FX6 looks like at Rec 709 or after it's been converted. And in case you don't know, I use my own conversion LUT to color grade the FX6. And some people might say that that feels a little too cold or that it's too magenta or whatever, but I feel like that's a very balanced image. And it was actually very close to true to life, which is what I was going for in that color grade. So I'm really happy with the way that that image looks. Now let's take a look at what Gemini looks like after it's been converted to Rec 709. When things turn sour, I know I'm the only one who's to blame. I'll count the hours until I get more than a little. Do you want me? I can want you if you want me to. I'm not a stranger to this dream. The red Gemini image looks really pleasing. The only thing I'm noticing is that spike on the red, so it looks more accentuated. And I think we could tone that down in the color grade, so it's not really that big of a deal. But regardless, the image looks pleasing. So let's put them both side by side, first as log. And I think what you're going to notice is that the waveforms themselves look similar enough, particularly in the way that they handle highlights. And I think that this is one of the strengths of the FX6. And now let's take a look at them side by side after they've been converted to Rec 709. And again, what you're going to notice in the exposure is that they're taking advantage of as much information without clipping highlight information or crushing any of the dark areas of the image. And overall, again, the way that the FX6 handles highlights, in my opinion, is exceptional. So I'm really happy given that both of these cameras are at two very, very different price points, which again goes back to the whole, does gear matter? Yes, gear matters, but whatever gear we can get our hands on and that we can afford really is empowering us and enabling us to go out there and create our vision through these tools. And I hope that you guys found this information useful maybe a little entertaining, and if you did, let me know, and if you didn't, I'm sure you're going to let me know anyway. So I will catch you guys in the comments. Take care. <laughs>